not sure if Moses is playing, not sure if any of the Origin players are playing. So, uh, yeah, I won't really touch on that for every game because we're not sure what's happening there. But I'll go the Eels. Manly versus the Dragons. Turbo is pretty much guaranteed to be rested, but DC will play. Uh, Schuster's returning in the back row. Dylan Walker's being pushed to 14. For the Dragons, Jermaine Tanua Brown makes his debut after uh, coming on loan. Uh, Tyrell Sloan will play his second game at fullback after starring in his debut as Dufty serves his suspension. This is a tough one because Manly without Turbo are a different beast, but I do think that they will bounce back. They're a good team. I've seen them do it without Turbo before, and I think having DC even without Turbo it makes a big difference. So I'm going to back in Manly here. Just don't trust the Dragons, really. Uh, Raiders versus Sharks, no big team news here. This is a tough one. If it was in Canberra, I'd maybe lean towards the Raiders, but I think the Sharks are actually in pretty decent form at the moment. They've had a good four or five weeks despite losing to the Broncos in the middle of that, but I'm going to back them in here. They didn't really have anyone involved in Origin, so I'm going to say the Sharkies get up. Cowboys, Roosters, Val Holmes is likely going to be out. He looked to have maybe done an AC joint injury if I don't want to jump to conclusions for the Cowboys. So I would assume drink water goes to fullback and then Dejan Arce moves to 5'8 last week uh, as they did last week. And then for the Roosters, CSA Takiaho is out uh, with, I think it's a hamstring issue. Uh, I'm going to go with the Roosters here. Just think, look, they, they've been winning dirty recently, but I think they're, the Cowboys have really lost form, so going to be tipping the Roosters there. Storm versus Knights, the one major uh, return or change is that Frizzell is back for the Knights, uh, which is a big in. However, I don't think that changes the result. You can't tip against Storm or Penrith, can you, at the moment? Too good. Uh, Warriors versus Panthers, the first of a triple header, I think, on Sunday. Uh, Tohu Harris and Chad Townsend have been named in the reserve, so that's going to be an interesting one to watch for the Warriors. I think that changes a lot if they are named. Tom, uh, Josh Curran and Kane Evans replace Ben Murdoch, Masala and Jack Murchie. Dylan Edwards returns for the Panthers and Jerome Lewis is out his first game in clubland uh, with his injury. Look, I know the Panthers are under man. They don't have either half. And the Warriors, when you least expect it, they do get up. However, they are in really, really bad form. They've lost seven of their last eight or something. I could see them winning this, but I'm going to have to tip Penrith. As I mentioned before, you can't tip against the top four at the moment. It's really boring, but it's too hard to ignore. Broncos, Tigers. Tigers have a couple of debutants, Junior Paga and Tui Simpkins. Don't know much about either of them, really. Paga was a... Bit of a bit of a throbber in his young days at the Warriors. Played twenties, uh, suffered a couple of injuries, found himself at the Winner Manly Seagulls, and the Tigers picked him up halfway through this year. He's playing center, so look. The, luckily for these guys, there's not really any pressure. I can't do much worse than the guys playing already. Tui Simpkins is a big middle forward, I believe, from who came from North Queensland. Adam Dewey's been moved back to six. Embi has been placed on the bench, which I think is a good term. I think long-term, Dewey is a six. I know people are saying he's a centre, but for me, he's too good to be in the centre. You want him touching the ball more than he does out in the centres. Everyone's tipping the Broncos. I'm actually going to back in the Tigers. Like, we are due for a dub, and I know everyone thinks the Tigers are shit, but we actually get a win every now and then. And I'm going to back us in to dub up, going into the documentary, life's good. Uh, I think our season's actually not been as bad as everyone's saying, and I think everyone was overrating us coming into it. I tipped us to come 13th. I think we're sitting in 13th. Uh, it's been poor. Some of the showings have been disgraceful, but we do win some games, so I'm going to back us in. Uh, Rabdos versus the Bulldogs. The only real uh, thing of note is that Jaden Ockenbaugh is returning. Uh, he's in the reserves right now, so he might play, might not, but you've got to tip the bunnies, unfortunately, for the doggies. So it's going to be an interesting round of footy. It's a miracle. Oh, yeah. What about that one? Unbelievable. Balotelli. Aguero. Crowd cheers. Here's Siddle. 